Hi everybody. This video, I'm actually going to redo a video uh, from my YouTube past. I did this over a year ago. And this video is how to thin Tamiya Color Paint for use in an airbrush. This is going to be version 2.0 filmed in high def. I hope you enjoy and I hope you can learn a lot. Take care. All right, guys, this is actually a very simple process, so I'm going to try to streamline this for you as much as I can. So first, what do you need? Well, you need a bottle of Tamiya paint. In this case, I've chosen XS64, which is red-brown. Uh, F stands for flat, so that's in their flat color range. And then you need something to thin it with. Now, I only use the manufacturer's thinners. Some guys like to uh, homebrew their own. That's fine. I personally don't have the time to fool with it but I only use the manufacturer's thinner. So in this case, we have the choice of either Tamiya X20A, this is an alcohol-based product, and you also can use Tamiya lacquer thinner. And the reason why I have the airbrush cleaner here for you is to show you that Tamiya does make airbrush cleaner. This is now readily available in the US. You had to, in the past, order it strictly from Asia, but now you can get it here in the US. Now, on the topic of thinners, is there an advantage over one over the other? Some people say the lacquer thinner dries faster. Personally, I cannot tell the difference. They both seem to dry equally fast. Why can you use lacquer thinner with the Tamiya paint? Quite frankly, it's because of this little flammable symbol on the end. This is an acrylic paint, but it's a solvent-based acrylic paint, which means I can use either the isopropyl style alcohol thinner or, a, or the lacquer thinner to thin this paint. Now, what else do you need? Something to stir the paint in the cup of the airbrush. Uh, I use these Tamiya stirring sticks. They work great. And then you also need um, some way to dispense the paint. There's a lot of different ways to do this, but I use these master brand um, eyedroppers. They're disposable. You know, it's a one or two time use. Chunk them away. They're very inexpensive. It's like a hundred for eight bucks. I go through one or two of these maybe a year, uh, but I think they're extremely useful. Now, what else do you need? Last and certainly not least, you need an airbrush. And for this demonstration, I'll be using my uh, Badger Patriot 105 with the original needle in it, which is 0.5 millimeter. And I've got a little piece of scrap cardboard that uh, we'll be spraying uh, for the demonstration purposes. So let's get started. All right, so now we get to the fun part. Let's do some painting. So of course, you need your airbrush and I've got my bottle of paint here already open. You wanna make sure that the um, paint has been mixed the Tamiya paints tend to settle over time and the pigment and the binding agent will separate. There's a lot of ways to do this. You can use a stirring stick, you can use a toothpick, your finger. I use these little handy Badger paint stirrers. It's powered by a couple of AA batteries. I've shown them in videos in the past. Now, first thing to understand, guys, I thin my paint, uh, thin my Tamiya paint at a ratio of two to one. And that's two parts paint to one part thinner. The reason why I use these eyedroppers is that because you can dispense one drop at a time. And guys, I'm horrible with the math. Somebody says, well, you want to do it a 60-40 mix or a 30-20, you know. It's easy for me to count eye drops. <laughs> That's why I use the eyedroppers. So I, you want to add the thinner first. So I'm going to put in 20 drops of paint, and then we're going to do 10 drops of thinner. So you just pick up some of the X28 thinner, and it's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Some people ask, well, what if I go over or what if I go under? That's one of the marvelous things about Tamiya Color. It is very, very forgiving. All right. Next thing I want to use is we're going to add the color. Now, since we're doing a two-to-one ratio, two parts paint, one part thinner, I'm going to add 20 drops of paint. So you simply fill one of these disposable eyedroppers with the paint, and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty. And that's it. I'm going to put the excess paint from the eyedropper back into the paint bottle. We don't want to tip paint everywhere, so I'm going to screw the lid back onto my paint jar. It's like I got a little bit on the side there. This stuff evaporates very quickly, so I'm going to put the lid back on the thinner as well. You would think at this point that you are ready to paint. Actually, you're not. 
Now we do have our concoction in the paint cup. I've got the thinner in the paint, but we want to mix it slightly, and that's what the stirring stick's for. Now, pressure. Uh, matter of taste, really, but I spray at relatively low pressure, uh, between about 15 to 20 PSI. This gives you plenty of control. This stuff is pretty thin, uh, and it works quite well. Now, let's see, are we spraying? Yep, looks good. And now I can do general coverage very quickly. You'll notice it's very smooth. I can also do nice detail work. Just pen or pencil sized lines. Guys, that's all there is to it. To me, a paint is extremely resilient. It has wonderful opacity. They have a nice color range, not as big as some, but it's really a remarkable paint. From broad coverage, like I said, to fine detail, one of my favorite paints, if not my favorite paint. That's all there is to it. To clean this thing up, I follow up with a Tamiya airbrush cleaner, uh, some cotton swabs, good to go, you're done. And guys, that's it. So that's, once again, this is version 2.0 of how to, my, how to thin Tamiya color paint for use in an airbrush. I hope you enjoy. If you got questions, put them down there in the comments below. Everybody take care. Bye-bye.